I've only ever seen um, people play the, 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 the all three games actually, but I uh, barely remember it. I remember the ending of Earthbound. Mother 3, I remember practically nothing, so that'll be fun. Uh, am I getting hurt? Yes, I am. Okay, that was a good hit then. I thought that was me doing that damage. Oops. I also don't remember this boss fight very much. Whoa, I'm on top of him. Oh, uh, all right. Well, not anymore. That's Porky in there. I don't remember him ever being a, a deathbed spider thing, but who knows. I think I remember on the wiki that like it was like he'd done a deal with someone to become this thing. Not on not on the games, but like in this in the subspace emissary. I have uh, I am not a clue. Whatever happens to Porky's little bro Does he become a thing later? He doesn't become a, a, a partner, I know that, but who knows? Da 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 whoosh. Nope, no thank you. Alright, that's just Unfortunate for me. I don't remember this move at all. Or, or actually, any of his moves, really. I just remember him running around. Maybe that's what he only does in hard mode. Ooh, Animal Crossing, thank you. That black background for effect. You make it look like you caused them. <laughs> yes, please. And refreshing again. Literally like twice a cutscene at this point. Oh man, I think Squirtle was also one of my favourites in this game whenever I played it. Like, if I had to choose starters though, actually I think it probably would have been Squirtle. So yeah, good choice, uh, Pokemon Trainer. I would say, I remember actually uh, like as a, as a kid when it comes to Pokemon, I was always thinking, ah, oh, if, if Pokemon were real, I'd actually choose every, wa always choose the water type. Because in a world where you could actually choose, you know, grass, fire and uh, water, a lot of kids are going to choose the fire. You know, the fire dragon, the fire cat. Everyone loves the power of fire. All like those young boys are going to think, oh, I'm going to be so cool with fire. And I was like, that's going to cause a lot of, you know, fires and death and horror. So I'm going to be the water type, not only so I can defeat the guys that think they can be so cool with the fire types, but also I can save the world with my firefighting skills. I did at one point actually want to be a firefighter. I've had a lot of career things I've wanted to be when I was younger like what has anyone else got any like well maybe not weird my my choices aren't weird but has anyone else had like really extravagant or just different career choices when they were a kid that never came to be like I never wanted to be an astronaut but a firefighter that was my jam even yeah I like the idea of welding water I wasn't much of a swimmer so I'd rather just sort of shoot it out I don't know. but I like, like the idea of being a firefighter and an actor and a film guy uh, at least I got two out of three. There were other things I wanted to be, but I can't remember what they are anymore. Oh well. Oh, a scientist. I wanted to be an inventor at one point. Then realized my inventions would need, you know, engineering and mathematics. And sure, I was good at mathematics, but I wasn't much of a handyman. And my ideas were, you know... I wasn't a big fan of chemistry, physics, or biology. So, like, that whole side of things would already be a failure. So, not, not... I wouldn't have been a great inventor, you know? I can't, oh, I can swim, 
but not very well. Like I, I, um, I got oh, it's in here. I got swimming lessons like back in 2010 or something, um, for like half a year, and it was basically just me and the trainer. It was supposed to be a, a cold class, but no one else ever showed up other than me. So I basically got one-on-one -on -one training, so that I can do the I can do the techniques. I can do you know the backstroke, the front stroke. I think that's all I can do actually. But oh well. Um, but I just can't float. Like, if I'm in deep water, I'm going to sink. If I need to get from point A to point B, I can do it, but I can't survive. I can't stay still, and I don't feel comfortable in deep water, you know? Like, the moment I get tired, which is also incredibly quick when I'm in the water, is the moment I will, I'll just flail and die. So, yes, I can swim. No, I can't survive in water. Make sense? So I'm not a big fan of water, but I'm a whole lot more scared of cars than I am water, I think. Which is actually something I'm noticing more and more. I don't have a full-on phobia, but I'm very cautious when it comes to cars, you know? Like, um... Did you totally bring back the Pokemon in the real world? It's horrifying? I could do. Um, I think my main reason not doing it was just, it was like, it's just views, man. Um, going on a slight tangent about using YouTube, so a thing I discovered literally from watching um, the completionist do a stream a couple days ago said that um, they basically said if you are subscribed to someone on YouTube that doesn't mean they will show up on your sub box. You'll get videos in your sub box only, thank you for the alert, who is this? Oh my god that's a long name. Dividavs of Spriggity Sprag. I don't know what your full name is, and I, I don't have the time to look at it because I'm getting beaten by chickens. But if you are subscribed to someone, you're, they they will only show up in your sub box if you watch their videos consistently. If you miss a video, I think it, it'll, I don't know the actual statistics, but it's basically like there's only like a 50% chance that the next video will show up. And then if you don't watch that one, then it will be even less chance that the next one shows up in your sub box. And then on top of that, in uh, on the other side of things, if you're not subscribed, if you've got anything copyrighted or demonetized, then you're not going to be promoted by YouTube. And considering all my stuff has been pretty much copyrighted, well, like, I think basically my downfall was literally my Breath of the Wild Let's Play, because it was all copyrighted, so it wasn't being promoted to new people. And as less and less people watched it, it meant less and less people got to watch my newer stuff, because the sub box was already ruined for everyone, because they, they didn't watch so many of my Breath of the Wild videos. So... I'm not quite sure how this started. Oh, uh, it was about views on the Pokemon video. If I make a video on Daz Reviews now, I have to make sure it's one that people will watch. Otherwise, no one will get the opportunity to watch my other ones. So, I'll have to have a look again and see how popular that Pokemon video is. I might make it, or I might just do live stuff from now on on that channel. I don't know. No. That's uh, generally the the... It's a matter of YouTube has done a switch. It's no longer that, um, co uh, I can't remember what, I, I, I thought of it earlier. It's like, um, ah, money and content. It's no longer a matter of the, the content makes the, the, the numbers and the money and the views. Now it's the views make the content, if that makes sense. If you have bad, if you have bad views, you have to make better content. And if you have bad content, you're not going to get the views. It, it makes sense and that you, you, like logically it's like yeah that's how it should be but it's very much now like I don't want to make the videos that I want to make because I know that they won't do well on views and it's not a matter of oh I'm you know penny pinching for views it's if people aren't watching one then people don't get to watch the next one it's a real mess YouTube Lucas. Of course he did. And Pokemon Trainer. Thank you. Battleful Fortress, I guess that's where we're going next. I know that whistling wind sound that was played all the time in Pokemon XD and Colosseum. Random trivia no one needs to know.
Oh, well, that's fun. My gamepad, I think, just died on me, so I can't actually hear any of the sound. So I'm going to pause real quick. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. I need to grab my charger from downstairs. I need to untangle my headphones. I'll be back in just a sec. Don't mind me. Laptop, if you could actually show the thing, that would be pretty good. That's broken. Oh, you can go there. You can still hear the audio good. What are you stuck? What is this? What is? How are you on the legs of my chair? How are you on multiple legs of my chair? What did you do? There we go. Christ. Gosh. What an octopus hug looks like or something. Right. Hey, I can see the whole chat now. My laptop is actually up to date. Ooh. And it just died. <sighs> What's going on there? I was... My... my uh... So I took off my headphones and my earbuds to go get my gamepad charger. And then came back. Went to put on my earbuds. And that was all fine. Went to put on my headphones. And then they were just... I don't know... The wire was stuck to something underneath my chair, so I went to go, like, unravel it or something. I can't actually remember what I did. And then, uh, somehow it just, like, along the way, it just, it just turned into some weird amalgamation of wire and metal, and I just, I don't know. I just couldn't untangle my headphones in this cacophony it created under my nose in, like, half a second. I don't know. It's just the fate that earbuds have to be tangled, so apparently so did full-on headphones and the bottom of your chair. I've got a, I've got the uh, spinny chairs as well, so the, the fact that it turns around didn't, didn't help at all. Uh, get out of here. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of Marth. I'm not a big fan of the swordsman in general in these games. It just, eh. Although Link's better. He's a bit more like of an all-rounder guy. He's not all sword, but I don't know, man. I've never played Fire Emblem, though. Oh, I remember hating you guys. So how about I just not get involved with you? Oh, actually, you don't take... You don't have a lot of health. Dude, come on. Can you get on my level? You're just gonna hang around. Okay. If you're gonna get on my level, can you at least, like, be capable of taking damage? Nope. Alright, thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I never played Fire Emblem. I think it's... I've heard it's pretty good. I'd be interested in playing it, you know, if, if I got the opportunity to. Again, that's another kind of RPG kind of game that I just would, wouldn't want to play on YouTube because Breath of the Wild killed me. I'd be, you know, hesitant to see what Fire Emblem could do to me. Whoops. Fire Emblem is fine. What does that mean? As in, like, you, that's a really good, like, fine, or it's fine. Like, what are people's thoughts on that? Oh, well. Fire Emblem, I imagine, will be... Th I imagine I'm going to play all of the games I want to play. So Fire Emblem is probably going to be a game I'm going to play at some point. Don't know which one, but who knows. Um, there, was, there was a point to this. So I guess it was like if... if uh, I can't remember. I'm gonna play Fire Emblem. I guess that's the point I wanted to make. Oops. Nope. Alright. I try and concentrate and I get hurt instead. Thank you. What does that even do? Is it just points? Right, thank you. Thank you. Ba -ba. There we go. Uh, it's a bit weird that the actual puzzle is like breaking the physics of the game slightly. Oh well. Also, who would have thought motorized vehicles would be the death of Marth? I assume the whole thing is like a very medieval thing, so 
mechanical vehicles just doesn't make sense in this world, right? Oh, what do I know? Yes! Oh man, that's, that's satisfying. Also, as a kid, part of the reason I don't like the Swordsman is I never understood what the down B did. I just thought it was them doing a weird pose. No one was ever hitting me when I used it, so the, the fact that it's a counter is very uh, nice to know now. I like him a little bit more, but not much, not a ton, because I'm kind of not bitter, but I don't like the idea of countering, because every one and their mother can counter now. You know, it's like, I don't know. That's my, I think that's my biggest complaint about the Wii U version. Everyone can counter. Come on. Man, I'm not sure. Also, people are mentioning there's a, already a, a meme and also there's tons of Daz memes. Can you remind me of them? Because I don't remember. The only one I can think of right now is from like three years ago with beautiful fireworks. What, what else is there? Also, I guess uh, I think it's when um, I'm like eligible for subs and all that that I can put in like my own em emotes, right? I have, to, I have to decide what I want for those. Give me ideas. Also, actually, that's another thing I was going to ask. Um, my alerts, my notifications for followers, subs, and whatevers, even though no, they're not a thing yet, but at least followers are. Um, I've also got some for donations. Oh, I think I already mentioned that. Never mind, ignore me. Um, what do people want to hear and see as gifts? Because at the moment I've just got the generic default one with Mario and Luigi because it was the best transparent nintendo GIF gift I could find at the time. I tried to look for some Pikmin gifts and they're just too small and low quality. So what do people want to see? What would work? Fine is a meme now. It, are you supposed to say it like a, a kid who's like upset, or is it like a, is it like um, a seductive flirting kind of fine? There's a lot of fines with lots of e eyes even. Fine is not spelt with an e, and it's the one at the end. You know what? Never mind. You don't need to learn how to spell from me. You are a fiery. Gosh, I do remember that. Faintly. Okay. Also, here's the thing. I, I don't know Marth's up and B. I can't use it. That's fine. I should have totally gotten that on that guy, but I don't know. The Greep. Don't be such a Greep. Oh, and that trophy's gone. Damn it. Alright. How is that so difficult, Marth? Just hit that guy. Thank you. Is the wind pushing? Oh, I guess it is. There's the wind pushing everything off the edge, huh? Thank you. Hurrah! Didn't need it in the pause. I'm not going to sing the song, also because I feel like I'm out of sync anyway, so I'm not going to sing the music to make it less obvious, huh? So no one's mentioned it, but I guess they wouldn't. I'm also missing a lot of chat because my laptop is consistently, consistently refreshing. Maybe that will be it. Oh, gosh. I was going to say also it might be a meme, well, not a meme, but a running gag on this stream that my laptop's always dying. But I've completely remembered now um, the ice cream van. Remember that. Gosh, what a blast from the past. It's been two years, three years since the ice cream man has come and gone. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I guess so. I'm in third year of uni now, and the ice cream man was before I went to uni. Christ, that's crazy. It was back in Chibi Robo days. The first Chibi Robo days. Oops. I'm not getting that hop it. Hop it? Hop it? Hop it. I also feel really annoyed with the ice cream man thing that um 
no one ever actually got to hear the sound. Like, you could maybe very faintly if you turned up your volume all the way, but I wish he was more loud. As much as, you know, he kind of disrupt all my gameplay, it was mostly me reacting to him rather than you hearing him actually interact the gameplay. So I imagine if I had just not mentioned it, you guys wouldn't have even noticed it, but oh well. It was because I had all my windows shut, except for like one day where I forgot I left my window open and then felt really embarrassed because all my neighbours could hear me shouting at a game. Don't know which game it was, probably Chibi Robo. Maybe, maybe um, Donkey Kong Country returns. Who knows? Oh wow, that was a good hit. No, okay, good. Can I get that back at all? No, I can't. All right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I also didn't get um, Marth's side beat because it just seemed like a more sla uh, slaps. Slashes. It just didn't. Stabs and slashes. Slabs. Oh, I just didn't, 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 didn't sit with me well. Who does Daz have? What is this about? Um, profile picturings? My picture is just uh, uh, from the Pikmin shorts when the red Pikmin falls in a bottle. If that's what people are talking about, if they're talking about something else, then excuse me. Oh, that actually gives us momentum. I never knew. Alright, I assume I have to jump at points. Yes, alright. Can I get this? No, I can't because it's gone. Alrighty. Also, that is not an effective way of running. I've tried it. It's, it just hurts. Alright, yes, I can jump. Just checking. Well, it worked. Animal Crossing, hello. I think one of them's called Pelly. Is there one called Kun? Probably not. Pelly and Melly? Kelly? I don't know. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting that all the other moves that Ma has, his up and B slash is pretty helpful for the the bucket guys. Bucket. It's literally called Bucket. Jesus, okay. I do love Nintendo and their naming systems sometimes. Sometimes they're so smart and cool, and sometimes it's Bucket with a different vowel. Oh dear. I guess the epitome of that though is uh, the Pokemon. Less, not so much the Pikmin enemies, but oh well. Oops, already. Thank you. Nice. Can we go? Why did I get a one up? Why did I hear a one up? This is very Donkey Kong esque. Even though we're not in the Donkey Kong world at all. Hmm. Hmm. That was a slightly pointless room, but alright. Oh, whoops, I was so busy not looking at the screen. Excuse me. Marth is last, of course. Oh, I'm getting too attached to the chat, I think. I'm just paying too much attention. Excuse me. I'm just mostly surprised that I actually have viewers at this time in the morning. Well, it's not morning anymore, but I don't know. I just always sort of encapsulated that my audience is super American because it predominantly is that it's just weird that people are still about even now. Especially because I'm seeing people I recognize like Debbie. 
Hi, Debbie. Uh, there were a couple other people that I recognised that just like, I was like, I thought you were an American. How are you here? But maybe it's also because it's like two hours in now. God, are we two hours in already? That's impressive. Also, this story is longer than I thought it was, I guess. Oh, no, it just feels like it would be two hours in. Ignore me, rambling away. Oops. All right, thank you. Nagagog. Oh, that's a cool move I can use. I never see that usually. It's like up an A in the air. It's aerial up A. Dude, I would be. I, are you immune when you're taking. when you're growing? What is this? Alright, overpowered it is. Thank you. Oh gosh, you do it too. All three of these characters use counters. This is too many already. You don't need. We have three. We don't need six. From the next game, please. Wow, look at all those stickers. Oh yes, best scene. Go on, play it. There it is. Luigi gets a very short story in this, I remember. Like he's irrelevant for most of it. But at least he's in it. He's so happy. I like that also, that doesn't even show anything for our people. I think mean, it just literally just jumps away to bad guys. Ooh. Sweet, been an hour and a half, huh? Okay. Well, that makes sense, it took like 50 minutes to set up. Into the forest. Hey look, Link finally found his place. Well, Zelda's been taken away twice? Put in a cage and then... Taken by Wario? Yeah, I guess so. And then DDD, so three times. Gotta be Link. Time for the greens. I'm okay with that for now because I don't want to get you guys in. Oops, that's not. Oh man. What am I thinking of? That's what I'm thinking of. Down an A, not down an B. Oh, dude, you're still alive? Come on. Thank you. And yeah, no links in chat, please. Um, I didn't see what the link was, and I, I, I thought I had like a, a generic auto mod to, to take them down. Maybe someone just asked, but I would not recommend it. I'll be sorting out modders in a, or moderators in a minute. 
hopefully. Might, yeah, probably do it. Yeah, at 12 o'clock, we'll do it. I'll have my little break, eat a bit of food, and also sort some mod stuff out. We'll do like a, 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 a mid-session setup. Sounds okay to me. Thank you. Ah, oh, just as my spiciness flails. Flails? What am I saying? I said I was going to not sing to the music. Oops. Um, as an idea of what we're doing with this game, because I've, like, in the whole story, I doubt we'll get the whole thing done in a day. I don't think this thing is... Well, we're only playing for, like, four or five hours anyway. I'll then be doing the second half in, uh, tomorrow's stream on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Which is basically the same slot as now, except this one has an extra Let's Play With Fans at the end of it. Depending on, I guess, how we're doing on views and if people have the games. If people don't want to do that and they just want to see more subspace, then that's cool too. But for the most part, I'm hoping to have this game finished this weekend. Right and ready for another game next week. And though I've already said what it is, so it's not even a secret, but there you go. And then after that, we'll probably... Oh, we'll see how I feel. Might want to play more of uh, next week's game for a couple more weeks until Octopath Traveler, which I think might actually be like a week later. I can't remember. We'll, we'll see what happens. And then we got some important Christmas business to do, but that's a thing for the future. Oh, fine. Oh, well, I'll just get rid of it entirely. That works too. Oh, hello. Good timing. Uh, to the left. There we go. Thanks for the stickiness. Alright. Puppet's a little strong. I don't remember him having laser eyes, though. Wow, that boomerang was just kicking me. Here. Boomerang, can you please get out of here? Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming on Christmas, but I'm going to be streaming that Christmas week for a little bit. But I'll talk about that in detail on December 1st, I guess. Whenever that is, that's my plan. I've got an announcement to release on that day. <laughs> it's basically going to seem like Dazzle Reviews is only going to gonna become announcement videos at this point. But Oh, actually, there's that new Direct coming soon, so we'll see how that what that has to offer. But we'll see. Um, 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 oh, do I have Animal Crossing New Leaf? I do! I don't know what island tour is, but if it's a thing I could do with fans, maybe I'll do it one week. Um, I'll have to do a bit more research into it to work out what on earth I'm doing, but yeah. Also, what do people think of uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, huh? I've been playing that a lot, and I know a lot of my friends have it, which is insane, because my friends aren't... Well, they're, they're not crazy... Yeah, no, my friends aren't really gamers. So it's really... It's nice. It's, you know, just to be like, hey, look at all these people I know. I don't know. I like it. To you too, buddy. Ooh. Yes. Thank you. Get out of here. Why do you immediately go into your second jump, Yoshi? What is with that? Ba -da -da, la -da -da -na. Hello. What are you? Oh, it's Tortima. How fitting for Animal Crossing. Ooh, I... Okay, for a moment I thought I died there. I could add my uh, ID for Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. That could be cool. Um, we'll see in a bit. Not yet. A tad busy. Okay, I'm glad that didn't blow up the B-bomb. Yoshi, I'm a lot better at. You may have noticed. But Link, I just liked in concept more. I'm actually not a crazy big fan of Link in Smash Bros. Like, everyone, whenever I see tournaments with, like, YouTubers or just anyone, everyone always picks Link, and I'm just not a fan of him that much. I just sort of picked him in this case because he was more relevant to the story, you know? 
Like, Yoshi's just woke up from sleeping. That's about all, all, all they did. You know? Goodbye! Wow, really? Three? That's some evil level design. Is there anything to the left? Hold on, there's a sticker first. With a nice mountain in the back. Nope, there's nothing left. To the left. Dude, I'm pressing up! Wow, really? Yoshi. Like, you could see... You could probably hear it in my little... It's because I pr didn't press C, that's why. I pressed up instead. And hey! That platform is also just not sticky. Okay. It's a bit of a difference from the rest of the game. Noted. Alright, I guess I actually get to get a shell pod. Ooh! This was an enemy. Someone said in the chat has two trophy forms. I can see why now. So I will keep an eye out for that. Everyone else only has one. Apparently. And to be fair, it does look a lot different, so hey. I do not want the hammer because it will just slow me down for the rest of the platforming. Huzzah! Look at me knowing things. Dun 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 dun! A cutscene that has no relevance right now. Seriously, it has no impact. Look at that. Just a hint. I guess it's for people that didn't know Snake was in the game? Who knows? Hmm. Nah, alright. On this point, we're gonna take our mini break. We're 20% of the way through. That's pretty impressive, actually. So, a fifth of the way done. It'll take 10 hours to beat this game. Five hours today, four hours tomorrow. Hmm. We'll, we'll see how things go. I'm going to take a quick little break. Um, I could just quit and go. We'll go to the main menu, see if we have something to look at. Um, I need to pee. I need to eat some food. Oh, we're going to go through all of this, aren't we? No? Just the one? Okay. Yes, we are. Oh, that, was, that wasn't too bad. Right. I'll be back in a mo. I'm literally just going to grab some food, like some toast. Um, then I'll be back up here, and then we'll have a little chat sort out some moderation stuff. My laptop is dead again and other things I wanted to sort out which I'll be sorting out real soon. Well, I have the two bites left of my sandwich so I'm mostly done with lunch. I'm trying to control with one hand. It's a bit iffy on well, remote and nunchuck. Okay. It's almost time for you know who. Now who cares about the girl? We're talking about Olima. Also, I just see we have a new follow. Thank you. Uh, let me pause the game because I ain't looking. Mello Satruna. Satruna Mo. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of vowels you got in there. Mello Satruna Mo. Twelve. Okay. I won't met. What? Uh, Mellow. We'll call it Mellow. Also, I kept wanting to read that as Saturn. Now, let me put on my headphones. I missed the alert because I didn't have my headphones in on that break, but at least I can see it in the overlay. It all works out fine. I need another sip of my drink and then I'll be going. Mm -mm. Uh, get rid of that crumb. Thank you. Oops. And move you like that. Let's play. I am a big fan of Zero Suit Samus, not in design, but more as a character. I used to actually play her quite a lot. Although, I had to play as Samus first and then wait until the Smash Ball, but whatever. I don't know where I'm going. Oh well. I'll be fine. I'll work it out. Yeah, this is the bad way because it's just got enemies. But no, I just really like like her, her whip. Actually, I play her a lot in uh, the Wii U version. Whoops, I'm gonna be dead. No, I'm not. Alright, I'm fine. Oh, no, just a character in general. I just like the, the the acrobaticness of her. I like acrobatic characters. I also like Sheik quite a lot, you know. Is there an acrobatic male character? I guess the Wii Fit Trainer. When male. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, yeah, that's 
Wow, up and A and B and A up. Uh, no, up and A and up and B are basically the same. Oh, it's back down here. Okay. I'm learning. This is a pretty cool uh, soundtrack. Uh, let me go the other way first. But no, I have more things to say. What were they? I would, it's weird, I keep getting into the mood to play all these different games at the same time, and I know I definitely can't play them all at the same time legitimately, but it's like, I don't know, man. Like, I've got a real Metroid feeling right now, but it's probably because, hey, what do you know, it's a Metroid stage, or Metroid level sound. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm into everything. I'm rambling, ignore me. Also, I hope people don't mind I'm not speedrunning this game. Usually on Twitch, it's everyone speedrunning the game, but not me. Oops. It's time for the yellow people, the yellow heads, the the, the yellow animal and the, the blonde hair, which I, it's, it's just yellow, I don't know. Alright, I got a dumb question for people because I'm colorblind and I don't know these things. Is blonde hair yellow or is blonde not a shade of yellow? Like, am I wrong for like drawing blonde people with yellow hair? Is that incorrect? Is it actually like supposed to be a, a really light cream? Like. Is blonde a shade of yellow? Is it orange? No, redhead is orange, even though they're called red heads. Oh, you know what? I, I need help. I need help with my colors. That's all I'm saying. Uh, why, why are there two parts? Blonde is its own thing. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> like, why? Oh. Uh. I've, I've, I've talked plenty about colors and my distaste for them. So I'm not gonna go into any more, but just that's all I want to know. I'm not gonna not gonna argue with it. I'm not gonna say that's wrong, but I'll accept that color blonde is its own color, or color is its own blonde. Sure, as I wanted to say with my little slip there. Whoops. Nope. Get out of here, dude. You take a lot of thunderbolts, huh? You'd be actually hard to find, much more, huh? All right, I guess the upper path was not the right path. Excuse me. Wow, double hammers, really? All right, I'll come back later. Ah, oh, I'm out of here. Somehow I just about dodged that. Boom, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the key's already here, so I don't need to go any further. So what is this way? Treasure? Yes. Oh, it's gulping. Thank you. All right, no second jump for me. That's okay. Didn't want it anyway. Ah, my left ear really hurts. There we go. I only need gameplay in the, the right ear anyway. Oh, it's a shame. That's the, That seems to be my biggest flaw so far. It's not like fatigue for eight hours, because it's only been two. It's my ears literally being in pain from the double headphones. Oops. Woo, right then. Sweet. Huh, I like how the way Pikachu looks at his ha little hands. Uh, this way, yes. Thank you for the arrows. 
No, I just wanted to press B, not side and B. Okay. Through here it is. Alright, I don't know what I actually achieved, but okay. Oh, I'm, uh, I moved a train. Ah, I did this to open. Okay, that's cool. I like it. I also like these these three frames of animation. Actually, I think that's four. I see four tails. It messes with the screen a bit, but all right. Well, there we go. I was going to say, what an exhilarating ride. I'm not doing anything. Button! Thank you. Not quite sure how this factory works in any other, f like, format, but all right. Oh, now they become relevant. That's actually quite cool level design. Apart from the part where I die. That's not too cool. But all right. Huh. I like that. You'll see, these are the kind of things I don't pay attention to as a kid. I just sort of did it blindly. Right, what are we looking for now? Going up, going up. We've done the bottom, we've done the middle, let's go up. Okay, so through here we have much. I do about nothing. Hmm. I do like these bitons though, the way they, they're duplicating, it's a lot of fun. It's because they're just easy enemies and there's just lots of them! Thanks for the progress, dude! That was really helpful. I should use that as a speedrun technique. You know, I have a feeling it won't be that effective, but who knows. Maybe it... Nah. The time it takes to take all that damage is not helping. It's the time it takes to go up. You, get, you guys have fun, alright? I'll uh, just keep running here, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Wow! That opened up a lot quicker than I thought it would. Alright. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh, I can hear my Wii just sort of... Oh, actually, it's my Wii U. It's but it's the Wii part of the Wii U. It's really, really trying to do something. That, that went great. You'd have thought the electricity would do better against the metal enemies. The conduction and all that, you know? And I know not every metal conducts, but still... Okay. I mean, yeah, electric is good against steel types, right? Golden. Here we are. That's a good point with graphite. Oh well, I'm a fan of chemistry. <laughs> As a kid, I was like, "Yeah, chemistry! I'm gonna make rainbows and uh, little." I forgot even what they're called. Not test tubes. Oh, we'll go with test tubes, sure. And then it's like, in the, in the originality, this is actually the the layout of a of a single atom molecule. Atom. We'll go with atom. And I'm like, this is so boring. I don't want to know this. Give me fancy chemical reactions, not dull stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. Nope. Oh, I thought it was the scene. Never mind. Oh, we got an alert. I That was weird. The gameplay was in one ear, but then the alert was in both. That really confused me. Thank you. 16 Rockoad. Rockoad? I can't read usernames, apparently. I'm sorry, but thank you for following and joining us today. Subspace Emissary will be done in not quite 24 hours, but by the end of tomorrow we'll be done. It's time for some new stuff. I like the music. All right. Time for the Great Misunderstanding. 
Well, not yet, but first, let's destroy a, a, a dark peach. Can't quite remember how the logic of this works, but like why there are dark people, but who knows. Whoops, I do not want to be here! Dude, Link! Uh, Alright, fine. Your shit is. Did you just taunt at me? Did she just taunt? I wasn't half, like, fully paying attention to her after my death, but. Oh, damn it. That would have been good. That would have been a good ending. I would have been okay with that. Get out of here with Toad. Bat! Bat! Huh. Oh, you're done now. No, you're not. Bam! Nope, that was of course the one the one that doesn't smash. It's the one that does damage. Get out of here! Thank you. That's a big text about graphite. I don't care that much, I'll be honest. My attention span to chemistry is Ugh. Anyway, now it's time for the great misunderstanding. It's interesting how the cutscene can be completely reversed, depending on if you save Zelda or Peach. Otherwise, Link will be attacking Mario for defeating Zelda. But I imagine most people know this already. Let's go Link again, because Yoshi did the final blow last time. Sorry, Carla. I, I don't want to learn about metals and graphite. I'll pay attention. Eh. Oh, how about this? Uh, it's, it's a really bad compromise. I'm sorry. When I look over this again to edit it for YouTube, I'll actually read your comment. All right. Maybe I'll even put in a very in-depth, insightful comment on the overlay of the screen as I'm talking about it right now in this battle. How does that sound? Great. Good, because it's a total lie, and I'm probably not going to do it. Because by the time I get around to editing it, I'll have completely forgotten this promise. But hey, now I. Because I'm paying so little attention to your comment, I'm paying much more attention to your e existence. Continue. <sighs> All right then. Can I switch characters? Because I'm very clearly better at Yoshi. Nope. All right then. Let me pay a bit more attention, shall I? Let's keep. Let's put serious mode on now. Now that I know. Death is not coming with a, a respawn. No, my own bobs could hurt me. Now I know. Yoshi did everything! Actually, I guess I did the final blow on Mario, but still. This is hard difficulty. Not very hard or, like, intense, but uh, I'm just not great at the game. I haven't played it in 11 years, man. Not properly. Also, this whole cutscene is reversed as well, depending on if you save Peach or Zelda. When I upload it to YouTube, it will probably be done in like hour long chunks, I imagine. Or, no, I'll probably split the four hours of this or four or five hours into whatever fits in, into seven, ch into seven parts will be the plan. Let's play some Pit. We haven't played Pit in a while. And Kirby. And Mario. And Yoshi. Never play Link. Okay. Bit of a misfit to groups, but hey, it works out in the end. I'm not a fan of these bomb guys, though. Whoa! Did, did Pit just go horizontal? I've never seen that before. Gosh, just shows how much I play Pit, huh? Or play against Pit too. 
And I'm dead. The fight is on! Oh, they still fight with their bomb? No, no they don't. Alright, sweet. Oops. Also, it's weird that it's a different voice actor. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still, it's like, that's odd. I wasn't expecting it for some reason. Whoops. No, I wanted to shoot up, not fly up. Alright. Well, at least I'm not getting stuck on this platform problem. I need to move my mic a bit. Oh, and I need to move in general. Hello. Oh, man, that did not work. All right, you can just hide away. Sure. Hello. Hello. You having fun there, Mr. Random Stationary Spiky Ball? I think it would be a lot of fun to actually do a real-life obstacle course like this, don't you? I, I would enjoy it. Dude, are you serious? Okay, I guess you're just immune to everything. Thank you. Actually getting me away. Whoops. Thank you. I'm so dead. No, I'm not. Somehow. I don't know what I'm hearing rumbling. Is it just these platforms? Okay. Give me Tetra! Damn it! You ruined everything for me. Oh. Pit is uh, voiced by a woman in this game. Also, this is creepy music. Um... Let's play as Mario this time. We haven't played him in a while. And then Pit. Yoshi. Kirby. I like this. As much as it is creepy. I like creepy. Ooh, into the cave. Oh, I remember hitting these guys too. The shaders. Damn, alright. Get out of here, mites. Woo! -woo. The pen, or the Mario is mightier than the might. Aha! That's a lot of M's now, actually, so that's actually almost poetic. But not quite, because I'm not a writer. Whoops! Thank you! Up! Oh, don't mind me! Woo Sweet! Yo! I want to go the upper path, right? Probably. Unless there's a third door way up high, yeah. I want the middle door. Yes, kind of. Well, no, no was the correct answer to that. All right, noted. Oh, get out of here. Oh gosh, you are two headed and you are just like the guy at the end of the, huh. Just at the end of a Wii U version of the game. We have an alert! Jumpy 00. Oh, why am I saying double? Jumpy 002 is now following. Thank you very much. I don't want to go that way anymore. Whoa! That's. Ooh, that, that, uh, that little motif right there we hear later on in the game, and I just clicked on what that was. That's cool. Right, I assume I have to stand on these? Yeah, okay. Mario can swim, but it don't want to show me, so oh well. Give me that music, thank you. Oh, I didn't notice these very cool blocks. What will I be calling my followers? Uh... I said it earlier that I quite like the idea of just calling everyone the underdogs. 
because I like to think I'm a bit of an underdog story. It's, it's, it's almost narcissistic as it sounds. It's very much, hey, I was a small YouTuber and the world system YouTube is all it, all of it's against me, you know? So I'd call us all the underdogs. We're, we're, the, we're small, but we are mighty. I don't know. Something like that. Something like the underdogs. That's, what, that's my current idea. If anyone has better ideas, I'll be sure to consider it because it was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, yeah, that works. Get out of here. Ticking, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, there it is. Are we mighty numbers? Mm, no. No, we are not mighty number nine or num m mighty number 140. You can also call yourself Dazzles or Dazzle Juniors if you want, but I'll probably call you Underdogs. But you can call yourself Dazzlings as well, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's it's mostly up to you. Like, I just, I'm just the guy with the actual voice. You have all the actual power, you know? I'm just a guy. So, if you want to call yourself Dazzlings or whatever, go for it, man. I am not going to judge. <laughs> 